If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, apparently, Dr. Dre is producing Kanye West's whole entire next album. Let's talk hip hop. I ain't watch it, Pops. I've been getting him home late from work. He love that five blood. <laughs> Yeah, well, make, make sure when you watch it, you call me back. I was like, all right, Pops. Kanye West got some hot shit. Picture, you know, album cover with Dr. Dre on it. No parental advisory sticker. Right. That's never happening. 35 years. Only that's I never exclusive footage. <laughs> Shut up. The first time. Motherfucker. <laughs> Kanye West got some hot shit. Just let it come out. Yeah. Crazy. Sent that to the Doctor Dre touched it. Like you coming through. <laughs> Here they come. All right, yo, so that was a clip of Snoop Dogg, right? And y'all see, he's in the studio whispering like, Kanye West got some shit. Kanye West got some shit. Only I can get exclusive, right? And he's looking around like he's sneaking and filming, right? Snoop is bad funny, right? But the whole situation is that this is crazy, right? But all right, so I kind of thought that Dr. Dre was going to help produce at least a few tracks on Kanye West's new album, um, Jesus is King Part 2, but it seems like uh, Dr. Dre is going to be producing the whole entire thing, right? So, all right, a couple years ago, maybe like two years ago, Dr. Dre took a picture of himself in the studio with a Kanye West um, and they were saying like they're working on Jesus is King part two but nothing ever came of that right also a couple months ago Kanye West was on Sunday service and he was just talking about how when he was younger as a kid he would be like in his dorm room you know for hours and hours and hours trying to get his mixes to sound as good as Dr. Dre's mixes would right um, and that you know once he started rapping about Jesus and, and coming out with you know Sunday service and everything like that that Dr. Dre actually got in contact with him and said yo i want to produce jesus's king part two so kanye west was like see all you got to do is follow god and all your dreams will come true right um and it's funny as hell because of course you know kanye west after snoop dogg put up this video on his instagram kanye west went on his twitter and put up this picture right here and says yo i'm sorry dr dre for dropping these three little drops of orange juice mixed with um on your carpet while we was wrapping up our first project right so that's telling me that yes uh kanye west is confirming what snoop is saying too that this ain't the only project they're working on because he said well this is our first project so it might you know not be their last right which is all dope fire and cool right um you know, Kanye West, uh, after he dropped Jesus is King Part 1, he had a little bit of criticism. People were saying, like, the rhymes were okay, but the music wasn't too good, um, and, and it, the production wasn't all that, and just because you want to rap about Jesus and not come out with any secular music doesn't mean that it has to be, you know, weird or, or not sound good, right? Um, why don't you just be a Christian rapper then, right? So with this Dr. Dre touch on it and Kanye West, you know, really, you know, wanting to go hard for God and Jesus, it should be a pretty decent album right maybe with this album uh we'll get like maybe 10 songs that are kind of like jesus walks right or on god because on god was cool too and probably one of the only good songs that was on jesus is king part one uh don't at me but uh let me know what you think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fasting on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace